Itianam guys, welcome back to this Guru Disciple Relationship Series. I welcome you all with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashivam. Today's episode is about Guru being the reflection of the pure self. Guru is the embodiment of the pure self. He radiates the grace, the powerfulness of the self. We have forgotten how it is to radiate that because of the incompletions, pain patterns that we've been cherishing in this life and all the karmas that we've been carrying from the previous lives. So when you have the opportunity to connect with Swamiji, who is an avatar as per Hinduism, um, you start to remember what it's like to operate from the space of pure self. His actions, his words, the way he responds to life, the grace he radiates, the powerfulness he manifests, and the powers he radiates, everything is the raw and pure expression of the pure self. When you constantly align to Swamiji, surrender to Swamiji, um, remember Swamiji, all that remembrance allows you to align to the self, which is uh, within you, within me, within all of us. It is there. Paramashiva is all pervasive. It is within. He is within everything. But that has to radiate. For that to happen, the muscle memory and the bio memory has to be cleansed. It has to be purified to allow the bio energy, which is Paramashiva, to radiate through, uh, through us. So in that way, Remembering the Guru is very important. That is why when you have a Guru, most of the time you'll have many symbols to remind you of that connection with him. Whether it is a mala, whether it is uh, here an Atmalinga to the puja, or uh, the clothes you wear, or the jatas you wear, or the pictures you have. It is always a state, a statement for you to remember the Guru and the embodiment of the pure self that he reflects. And by doing that, you will start to stop reacting to various situations in life where you cherish powerlessness and you will remember how to, uh, how, how would Swamiji, so that's a technique actually Swamiji used to practice a lot when he was young. He was highly impacted by uh, some of his gurus and when he was facing situations where he was not sure how to handle, he would always think, oh, how would my guru handle the situation? And by constantly remembering that, he would constantly bring himself back into a space of powerfulness and in that way um, he would start to respond to life in the best way possible to manifest Paramashiva and the most um, auspicious things. Shiva, the word Shiva itself means causeless auspiciousness. So constantly remember, remembering Guru uh, who is an embodiment of the pure self and Shiva is nothing but constantly manifesting causeless auspiciousness in our lives. So that's powerful cognition for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Nidhyanandam.